welcome back to my channel today we are going to keep moving down on our bird drawing and we're going to just see how far we can get definitely get the rest of this neck drawn in everything you need is listed down below if you've got any questions don't forget you can just ask whenever and let's just get started so i've just got a bit of tape along the bottom of my bird um again on this drawing i want a nice straight edge so i'm going to use my uh framers tape um which i've uh, stuck to my trousers and then stuck onto the paper so that the tackiness isn't as high as other tapes and now we can just get started so I'm going to take my cold grey wool and my little piece of paper to rest my hand on and I'm just going to bring in the cold grey wool as the base layer I've not erased that graphite yet, I will do it, but that's going to be in a warmer area, so I'm not worried about it just yet. Just want this cold grey one down. And then I'm just coming up to that other edge, and then I will erase that graphite. So I'm just going to get my putty eraser. And lift again I'm using light pressure on this edge because I want it to be quite subtle but obviously we do have that edge there and I'm also gonna just lift this graphite here I am gonna put the cold grey one as a base layer. I can see those blue tones coming through that warmer hue so I'm just gonna apply the cold grey one here as well Okay, Okay. so we can see we've only just done a little small section here. I'm just going to take my ivory and I'm just going to add in where I can see those yellow tones shining through the feathers. I'm just going to add that in with the ivory. And along here as well. So I'm going to bring some of these areas in a bit more to make them more together. going to my warm grey I'm going to go straight into my with my warm grey free and we're going to use this warm grey free where we've got that dark shadow on the back of this neck here right it's quite hard to draw today with this plaster on my finger <laughs> right so I'm just using that warm grey free to just darken this section up And blend following that direction of those feathers and to come round this way. Again, just blending upwards into areas we've already got that blend. And then I'm going to take my cold grey four. I'm going to come over that one grey three at the bottom edge here. And then just bring that cold grey four down, just mapping in that shape of these of a clump of feathers here. And then you can go over that warm grey free area. This blue, which will get that nice blue tone shining through again. Back to my cold grey one. Just gonna press a little harder now and just build up the colour. We do need to get this area to look more blended, which we'll do shortly get the warm grey one in a minute but I'm just going to bring this in okay so the warm grey one and I'm just coming across here with the warm grey one nice sharp pencil <sighs> bringing that down that neck as well I'm always making sure that these pencil strokes are just going in the direction that those feathers are going in. So I'm just going to take my warm grey two now. And we're going to come in here. 
just trying to get this to blend a little bit nicer and also adding in some details See, so just with this one grade two, I'm just following the fur di uh, feather direction. And we're just going to build up a little bit of detail as we come down this neck. Now, you can't really see a lot, so it's just giving that indication of what the feathers are doing. I'm going to take my warm grey one, blend that out, and then I'll go over all of this with the cold grey one. Okay, and then the cold grey one again. Just blend it downwards. So we're just making sure our pencil strokes go in the right direction. And then we're just giving the subtle hint of what direction some of these feathers are going in and little clumps of feathers that we can see. Okay. Okay, so I'm going back to my warm grey, uh, cold grey one. I'm just going to lift some graphite. We're just going to come down this neck again, build up those base layers. So the way that we're tackling this bird with the cold greys and the warm greys is exactly how I would tackle a white dog, a white cat. Just build up the colours that you can see and it starts off very subtle and then you come in with the darker colours but those darker colours just act as the shadows and you just really start to get the white fur because I know white can be quite scary for people so many colours that you can use not as many colours in this bird as some pieces that I've done but there's still enough in there to bring out the detail okay, I'm just coming down and I'm not pressing too hard, this is about medium pressure. Just slow the lid up. And I'm going to come in there with a the cold grey one as well. Okay. Uh, back to. Oh, just moved my paper. I'm going back to my ivory. And the ivory is kind of fading off now, so I'm just going to very lightly bring it in and then lift the pressure as it comes down here. Like so. Okay, and then back to the cold grey one. I'm just going to bring in some little definition of a little feather clump there. As it comes down that neck. And I can see little, little clumps of feathers. So I'm just using the sharpest point of this pencil. With the cold grey one, a bit of a harder pressure and just mapping in little clumps. It's going to be very subtle, it's not going to be right in your face. And I'm just going to bring that over again there. Okay. And then as we come back over to this side, I'm just getting my ivory again. Bring that yellow, yellowish tone in here again. Just on that side of the neck. And then back over with the cold grey one and some little feather details that I can see. And this is all with the cold grey one. I'm just mapping in little little bits of fur. Not pressing too hard. Uh, little bits of feathers, sorry. I'm going to keep saying fur because I'm so used to doing fur. <laughs> and then my warm grey two comes down this neck. Blend that outwards as well. Okay, I'm then going to take my white, uh, let me just grab it, Oops. and then as I've done before, I'm just going to go over, just burnish a little bit and apply that white.
Okay, my warm grey too. I'm just going to blend this area outwards. So I want everything to look nice and smooth and laid flat against our bird. And the core grey one. Okay, just taking my core grey two again, just going to add a little bit of detailing, just where I can see some little texture lines on the bird on this neck. So they're going to be very subtle, I'm not pressing too hard. They want to be nice and subtle. Okay, back to the putty eraser and again I'm just going to lift the graphite. Okay, so call grey one and I'm just going to bring this all the way down this part of the neck. Right down to that tape. And then I can come up the neck again. Again, I'm not pressing too hard with the core grey one. Being very subtle at the moment. It is going to get darker. We're getting a shadow as we come down this part of the neck. But I'm just being quite subtle with my colours at the moment. Remember, we can always go back in and darken any areas up. It's getting very, very overexposed here, so we just need to use really light pressure. Okay, and then oh, just bring in that down here. Cold grey one again. I'm just still sticking with the cold grey one as the base layer. And I'm applying it across the whole of this neck. So we're going to get this the rest of this neck drawn in now. Okay, right, so I've got cold grey worn down as a base layer, all across the bottom of that neck. Back to the ivory, and I'm bringing that along the back of this neck and blending it outwards. And then I'm going to get my cold grey too, and just start to build up a little bit of definition. Okay, and along here. As well, just going to take my warm grey one down this edge. And the feathers, as we come down this neck now, are just getting straight. So my pencil strokes are going to be straight as we come down here. And 
and it is getting darker so I'm just going to apply a little pressure to make sure that this warm grey one stands out and then I'm fading it up as it comes into that bluer tone up this part of the neck okay then I'm going to take my uh, warm grey two, just looking for it, <laughs> just down here. It's a little darker again. So again, just building up those tones very subtly and slowly. Okay. And then to my cool grey one, I'm just going to blend over the top. Of those warm grey tones. And that'll just help get a nice really smooth blend. And you can see how we've got that darker shadow being built up. Now I'm just going to take my cool grey four because it is really dark as we come down here. So I'm just going to come in with a cool grey four. Nice sharp edge because it is a sharper edge. And I'm just going to really darken along this edge. Okay, I'm blending it outwards. And a little bit higher up here as well. Okay, and then my cold grey one just over the top to help with that blend. Then I'm just taking my warm grey five again, harder pressure just to really darken that shadow and fade it outwards. Okay, back to my cold grey two. It's just a bit of back and forth while we build up that shadow and then blend it outwards so it's a nice blended and smooth transition for the rest of the neck. I'm bringing that cold grey to further down here now. And up the neck. Okay, and then back to my warm grey, uh, cold grey one, sorry, over the top, harder pressure, just to really blend what we've just added. Let's get a blend down in here as well. And then over the top of that, I'm just going to grab my ivory, because we've got a bit of a yellow sh tone shining through. Just grabbing that along here, just where I can see that yellowish tone and then the white. Okay, so I've got my cold grey one again nice and sharp and I'm just going to start once again to build up this neck so shorter pencil strokes now a little bit of harder pressure and again just looking at any little minute details that I can see to show me where the feather direction is going This bit is all mainly going to be cold grey worn, maybe a few little warm grey and ivory tones, but playing with the pressure of the cold grey one to build up the tonal values.
Okay, get in there. Just it will take time. You've just got to use these short strokes because obviously it's going to reflect the length of the feathers. And we don't want to press too hard too soon because we want this to be very subtle changes within the feathers and the colouring. And that's what this is all about. And it's a little bit of back and forth. You've seen that I've gone back and forth between areas. Okay, I'm going to get my ivory again. Just where I can see little tinges of this colour. Again, I'm not pressing hard, just enough that I can see that yellow tone coming through in my drawing. Doesn't need to be overboard. And then I'm going to take my white. Oh, don't chuck your white, but take your white <laughs> and over the top. Okay. Just need a little bit more detail in this little area that I've not got any. So just bring in that cold grey one again and building up a little bit of detail. Okay, going back to my cold grey two again and I'm just going to come back to this side of the neck. Just build up some depth. down here back to my warm grey too just going to sharpen it you want a nice oh we've got pouring sharpenings all over the floor you want a nice sharp pencil so we can get these really fine details within the feathers drawn up oops Okay, I'm just going to take my um, warm grey four and I'm just going to come back under this neck with a warm grey four. Just not quite happy here yet, so I'm just going to start building it up again. I'm going to take the cold grey four as well. Just needs to be a little darker. A little bit more defined. And then the cold grey one over the top of that. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get my slice tool. And I'm just going to bring some of those little feather details over this dark area. Okay, back to the cold grey too. We're just starting to really build up the shadow here again. And it's coming together nicely now. These little details are coming together. And as I come back and forth, we're just really starting to build up the depth in those feathers as well. Okay, the white helps move everything out. Okay, right, let's keep coming along the bottom of this neck. So, just taking my putty eraser again and I'm going to lift some of that graphite. And then, as usual, I'm coming in first of all with the cold grey one. Light pressure, I'm not going to press hard, following that direction. Okay, 
Okay, call grade two. And I'm just going to take the warm grey two as well over the top here. Like so. Call grey two and it's just going to start to blend downwards. And as we come down here, I'm going to take my ivory again. I'm going to get the warm tones out very soon. And see, I'm kind of using a mixture of the warm and the cold tones for this piece. Get the ivory in here. Back to my cold grey one and just build up those little details. So sharp pencil following that feather direction. I'm going to take my white over the top there. Oops. Okay. My um, putty eraser again, just lifting that graphite. We might be able to get this bird done, but we'll see. And I am going to take the cold grey one again, but I'm not going to press too hard. I'm going to press quite lightly just to build up, oh I've not raised that graphite very well there, you can see how dark that area has gone, that's because I've not lifted that graphite very well, I'm just going to take my putty eraser along there one more time, okay, very lightly with that cold grey one, so hold your pencil halfway up the pencil if you um, struggle with the pressure, you want very light pressure as you build up that cold grey area here it's kind of building up this bigger section that you can see very light pressure you can see just how light pressure I've used when I'm looking at my piece of paper I can see the cold grey one is different to the white of the paper Got a mark on my paper there, but I can just about see it. Then I'm going to take my ivory and I'm going to go over that cold grey one, but I'm pressing a little harder. I want this ivory to show up a little bit more than the cold grey one. Okay. And then over the top of that with the white. Move this piece of paper. Okay, and then I'm going to go back over with the cold grey one. Very light pressure, but small pencil strokes. Just building up the colours in this bird. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my um, cold grey one again. And I'm just going to start to bring these feathers round. So they're curving. Can you see those pencil strokes? We're curving now. As we come down this back. These feathers here are going to be a bit straighter, not as curvaceous. Until we come a bit further down. So again, light pressure, and I'm just using this as a base layer, but I'm also just ma starting to map out the direction of these feathers. What's going on on uh, the back of this bird.
again it's quite a large area with this cold grey one but oh sorry excuse me um just mapping it out with the cold grey one as a base layer and then we can just work on top of it plus it gets away that fear of just having a massive white space staring back at you once you've attacked a white space with colour it just seems to relieve that pressure that you might feel Okay, and again, just bring that down here. And just lift that bit of graphite. I'm going to bring it to about here, this uh, base layer, and then we'll get some of the details drawn in. And then we can work on the rest of the bird. Okay, so taking my cold grey two, and I'm just going to map in some of these little. You can see these little fur, uh, feather lines. I'm sure there's a proper name for it, and I'm just going to start mapping them in. Just gonna. You want a really sharp pencil for this point, and again, we're just ensuring that we are following that direction so the feathers are creating the shape of this body and the neck and every, everything that we've already drawn it's all being created by the shape of these feathers and that's why it's so important to do fur in the right direction to do feathers in the right direction underneath everything that we're drawing is the structure and that is what we want to be accurate just gonna keep mapping them in. I'm not worried if it's not as uh, as accurate to the reference photo. I want them to be in similar position, similar shapes, definitely in the same direction. But it doesn't need to be an exact copy of our uh, reference photo. Okay, I'm now going to take my one grey two, sharpen that, and do the same. So I'm just taking the one grey two, nice and sharp. I'm just continuing up the back of this bird, bringing in some detail. And I'm using the warm grey too now because it's getting a bit warmer, a bit more ivory will come in here as well. Whereas down here it's a bit cooler in tone. I'm going to go over some of this area just so it gets that nice smooth transition between the two areas. And along here as well. Okay, and then over the top of that uh, with the ivory. Not pressing hard, but bringing that ivory colour in. Sorry about my thumb getting in the way. It's gonna, but it's focused on my thumb far too much. <laughs> All the days to injure yourself. <sighs> okay, and then my cold grey one. Over the top. So, just going to take my warm grey one, just bring it over here a little bit more as well. And I'm going to use the warm grey one to start bringing in some detail down here. Got some longer feathers, some long pencil strokes for these details. And it's just the little shadows that we're building up. All you're adding is shadows. And it's these shadows that are going to just start to build up and create the detail within uh, the bird. And take my cold grey one again, just over the top. Not pressing hard, 
but just going bringing this over ever so slightly and then the white pressing hard with the white the white will just soften those lines and help blend these areas together okay taking my ivory again and I'm just bringing it up here again following the direction that these feathers are falling and then my poor grey one just going to sharpen that so back with my poor grey one nice and sharp so I can bring in these little bits of details very sharp pencil strokes but they're just creating little little clumps of feathers Continuing down the back with a cold grey one. And remembering following those curves. Natural curves where the feathers are falling. Okay, I'm going to get my cold grey two. I'm just going to very lightly, I'm not pressing too hard, but just going to define these darker lines that I can see. Coming down this back. And then the white over the top. Get my ivory again and I'm just going to bring Light pressure, but I'm just bringing this ivory down here now. And then over the top with the cold grey one. Very lightly, I'm not pressing hard. Harder way I want little definition of feathers. Everywhere else is lighter pressure. Okay, coming in once again with the cold grey one. And I can see that the feathers this time are coming this direction. So I'm doing this little triangular section here. And I'm just going to bring in this base layer in this direction, first of all. And just making sure I'm coming up from that tape so that we get that nice straight edge across the whole book piece. I'm trying to keep the focus on the bird itself. See all that nasty looking foam, but I'm not doing very well, am I? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take the ivory. And again, this ivory is coming kind of from this bottom edge. As it comes up here. Okay, going back to my cold grey two, um, and we've got a darker line here, so I'm just going to use the cold grey two to just map in that darker line, bring that higher up as well, and then the cold grey one. Just to help blend it outwards. And again, little details. Okay. And then back to the cold grey two. I'm just going to bring in some of that detail. So some of these feathers are coming down in this direction 
So I'm just going to map them in with a cold grey too, and then that'll just go straight over that direction of the base layer nicely. Just bring that cold grey two in here as well. Okay, back to the cold grey one. And just building up tonal value here. I'm going to take my one grey two. Bringing that oops, up the direction of these feathers. And then taking the white just to really soften and blend out this area that we've just mapped in. Okay, just moved our bird over a little bit more and again just going to take my putty eraser and I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area with the cold grey one, making sure that I'm keeping an eye on, um, are we in focus, kind of? Um, keeping an eye on the direction that these feathers are going. So we're going to be curving over this back. And I'm using light pressure. I can come in, if I use light pressure, I can come in afterwards and um, build up the depth that we need. Rather than going in dark straight away. Nice and light. So holding my pencil higher up so I don't press too hard on the page. Bringing that down. And I'm just going to do the same here. It's coming down this way. Now I haven't got a piece of tape here, you could tape here and get that straight edge. Um, when I get a, when this piece is mounted, I will make sure it overlaps that this area so um, that the bird just kind of disappears into the mount. But you can, if you want a cleaner look now, get, get your tape. Oops. You can see just how light pressure I'm using. I'm not pressing hard, holding the pencil higher up. Quite long sweeping strokes at this point. I'm going to come in and refine everything as I build up some little details and more tonal value. But we're definitely getting closer to having this bird finished. Okay, so basically everywhere, let's get details. Right, I'm going to take my warm grey one first. I'm just going to build up this little bit of feather that I can see. So it's very white in this area, very overexposed. So we're just going to build up a little bit of detail. Not a lot though. I'm just giving that hint of something happening on this area in this area. Because we, we do also want the focus to be on the face of the bird. We don't want the focus to be down here on the body. We want that focus to be on our bird itself. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of detail there. Get my ivory. Again, light pressure. So all the colours have remained consistent throughout. And the white. Okay, so you can see we're just slowly building up a little bit of detail, but not too much. 
back to the cold grey one and just again bringing it this direction now light pressure You can see I'm just slowly building up the direction of the feathers, but I'm not adding too much detail. We don't want loads. Going back to my warm grey one, just in this area. Building it up this direction as well. And I'm fading out, so when I'm fading out, harder pressure down here and then li lifting the pressure off the page. Back to my cold grey 2, just building up that detail again. It's just faded a little bit. Don't want it to be too harsh, I just want a little bit more detail in there. You can see these, these feather details, so we're going to make sure that we can on our drawing as well. And then the cold grey one, very lightly, in here. Going over what we've already added, so it all just blends seamlessly together. And then the white. white just softens it all off really nicely my white's getting a bit small as you can tell <laughs> okay picking up the warm grey two now just going to bring in some of these little details in here it's not not many again I'm not focusing on this area too much just more color as well so just a few little details that i can see Fade that outwards and then get the ivory, oh, the ivory. and then the warm grey one. Okay, so cold grey one, and we're just gonna add a little bit more colour. But not much detail now. It's kind of fading out is the detail. But I'm still going to make sure that what I'm doing is going in the direction of these feathers. Just because we're building up on another layer. So you're going to start to see the pencil strokes again. Gonna add a little bit of ivory in this corner in a minute once we've done this cold grey one layer. You can see a little hint of a yellow tone, so right, so get my ivory. Just glazing it over the top, so I'm not pressing hard, light pressure, I just want that hint of that ivory just along this area. And then my white just to blend and soften everything out. Try not to move the paper too much. And that way as well. <laughs> okay, almost there. Taking my warm grey one. And I'm just going to lightly bring it across here. Sorry that this is not focusing on the drawing and it's really annoying and I'm really sorry. <laughs> and then back to the cold grey one for the, the rest of this back of this bird. 
not pressing too hard. Just building up that texture again in the on the bird, and then the ivory. Along here, oops, and then oops, don't drop pencils. I don't know what is going on with me today. Let me just move that, and then the white, harder pressure, smooth it all out. Hey, so I've just zoomed out. Um, you can't see all of the bird, but we can kind of see what we've done today. And I can notice that I just want to bring in um, a bit more detail on this back of the neck. So this is now me looking at my drawing and seeing what my drawing needs. So yours might not need the same. Have a look, see where you want to add detail. So I'm just going to straighten this edge and then just bring in. It's more the blending. It's not as smooth as it could be here. I'm just going to smooth this off. Blending it outwards. And then I'll get the cold. This is the warm grey 2 that I'm using. And then I will get the cold grey 1 afterwards. Uh, now. <laughs> and I'll use the cold grey 1. Just to help get a nice smoother blend. On this neck. And then bringing it down here as well, a bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to take the warm grey, is it five? Warm grey five. Coming up and under again. And then the warm grey three. Just as we come across. So my warm grey too. And then the cold grey one. Okay, and then just going to take my cold grey two and just keep that neck curving round here. Okay, back to my cold grey two. That uh, one grey two, sorry. Just blend there. Okay, I'm going to take my. Um, one well, grey free. I just need to sharpen mine. I want it to be a bit sharper than it is. And I'm just going to, oops, come in along here. Just needs to be darker along here as well. Keeping an eye on feather directions always. So even though this is obviously a white bird, we've gone in with quite some darks to build up the depth. So don't ever be scared to go dark when you're building up white white fur or white feathers. Still need that depth in your work. Okay, then the warm grey two. I'm gonna go over that warm grey three and blend it out. Uh, to my cold grey one again. Okay. 
and my cold grey two. So, okay, just going to take my warm grey five again. Just going to sharpen this edge up a little bit as well. One grey one just over the top to blend smooth. And then I'm just going to come in with that slice tool. Just over the top of that area. Like so. Right. My warm grey, uh, not warm grey, my cold grey. I want my cold grey free. Um, which I didn't have out. Cold grey free just to build up along here a little bit more. Um, and I'm just going to take my warm grey one. Just going to bring in a bit of warm grey one along here. It's looking a little bland. Bring that warm grey one in. Okay. Just taking my warm grey two along this edge. And the cold grey one, uh, that's not cold grey one, that's the cold grey one. Just a little bit of detail needed in my bird there. Okay, so I've just taken the tape off the bottom of my bird now. And as I'm looking at this, I'm really happy and I'm going to leave my bird here. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, something definitely a lot different than doing fur. We've done feathers, similar techniques, but we've created a white bird instead. Any questions, as usual, let me know down below and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye, everybody.